Dama the Amigo in a game theory I never thought I would be talking about this year or ever. Thanks to the new game Party Central. But that's not the only game I'm looking at. I will look at the whole theory of four games. Originally started in the arcade and ported to the Dreamcast, Dumba the Amigo had the player shape Maraca in different circles in time with the music. Sometimes player would have to do a pose holding the Maraca in a particular place. The music in the theory is primarily Latin music like Dama de Janeiro and Macarena and featured non-Latin pop music like Take On Me. Most of the music is covered and performed by Down Life Folklore. You can tell that the song The Cup of Life doesn't have Ricky Martin vocal. I don't know if Dama de Janeiro is a cover or not. But it sounds really good. None of the games have a plot I should know about, but that's fine with me. Amigo, Hit Theory, and or Gameplay have made an appearance in other Sega games. He playable in Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing and its sequel Transformed. And Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. In Sonic Rider, a part of the level Sega Carnival and Sega Illusion had the theme of Dama the Amigo. In its sequel, Zero Gravity, his theory had a reference in the level 90 Boulevard. Dama the Amigo theme level appear in the 2012 Nintendo 3DS game Rhythm Thief, a game made by Sega. But enough of it. Let me get into each game. Presented by Sega. <laughs> Samba, Samba amigo! Okay, I need to say something. I'm emulating this game because I don't own the game myself. But I want to at some point. Only the game itself without the Morocco. The game can be played using a normal controller. Even if I had the game, my Dreamcast is not in the best shape. I'm letting everyone know. Anyway, the first game and being a home version holds up well. You have an arcade mode, original mode, mini game, a training mode, challenges, and internet. More on that later. You have free difficulty. And start with this thought and can a lot more from arcade mode and challenge it. The music lit is great and every thought fit in well with the game. Arcade mode had two or three stages and a special stage if you get enough points. You have a choice of three thought per stage in a set order. Original mode allows you to pick any song in any order. Challenges are what they are. Mission for player to be. It starts simple, but get too hard too fast. My god, why do some require you not to miss a single note or get 98% on hard difficulty? The only reason why I know about some of the harder one it's because I would emulate in the game and use a cheat to already have all the challenges done. The minigames are your whack-a-mole and breaking a rock simple minigame. The love mode is only good and useful if two real people are playing the game. That leaves the internet part. Yeah, the Dreamcast had an internet function and it game had DLC. But what weird is that I got to go and use the internet part of the game. I feel the website for the game. What even weirder, I was able to download music and play it in the game. Let's see what we got here. Music from Burning Ranger. Open your heart from Sonic Adventure. Wait. 
Super Tonic Rating from Tonic R. Holy! <laughs> I don't know if this is a new game or an updated version, but once again, I had to emulate it. This game was only released in Japan, and I had to deal with a language barrier. I mostly stuck with the main game and not anything else, but the game does have a volleyball minigame and survival mode. Plus, Amigo had a sister now. I tried using the internet part of the game, but it didn't work for me. With the 2000 version, we have old music from the previous game and new music, and a new mode called Hustle. In Hustle mode, players are still hitting notes at the right time and doing poses, but this is done less often. Players now have to do the kind of dances with the maracas, or in my case, use my thumb across the D-pad. I don't know if this is a remake or a remastered version, but let's call it a new game. The Wii version is the version I first played, and yet, I do have a copy of the game, and I'm playing it on real hardware. Most of the modes in minigames are here. Super hard is now a delectable difficulty. Music from both games are here, along with some new ones. And all of it is great. The game did have DLC, but you can't get it anymore. Challenge mode is replaced with career mode. And it is much easier. Get a C rank or higher to pad. The Wii version had stages based on Sonic the Hedgehog and Fate Channel 5. And with cameos of the main characters. It's so cool the Sonic dance to Mobo number 5 and Lowrider. The Wii version would be a great game, but there is one big downside. The motion control. And no, you can't use a classic controller. You have the option of using a Wiimote and a Nunchuck or two Wiimotes. I don't know the real issues with the motion control, but I think one issue is that the game uses the Wiimote pointer. Did it use to show where your white circles are? I noticed when I had two Wiimote in the middle position and was shaking them to hit the node, the white circle would often drop to the bottom for a small moment. I never played the game using the maraca and the path from the home or arcade version. I can't say how accurate they are, but I can only get they were perfect and the previous game did ask you to select your height before playing. The Wii version can't ask you, and I don't think having the center bar on top or below the TV will help. In a music game, players need accurate buttons or motion control, and sadly, the Wii version can't give you that. How did younger me beat career mode 100%? Somebody amigo! Now, what about the new game? Well, let me talk about it. First, the music lit. It's very questionable. When I think about Dama the Amigo, I think about Latin music. So why is most of the music here not in the Latin genre? It's good to hear Pitbull, Ricky Martin, and the Macarena, but where are the other Latin artists and music? Heck, where is Dama de Janeiro? Where is it? The art style and visuals are good, and that did have an impact on the music lid. I know music is subjective, and I understand trying to appeal to different people, but I wish the game would remember its music genre identity. 
I have mid feelings about the gameplay. There is no different game style like original or hustle. Everything including new stuff is one game style. You hit note, copy post it, trade the arrow, do some dancing along with other movement like jumping, running, and so on in many games like high fiving. What the heck is going on? Hitting note and doing posted is good. Real movement replaced how old Hustle Mode did it dancing and it is good. Tracing arrow is okay. However, I am not a fan of the mini games and randomness being forced into the gameplay. I would prefer if there were different game types by themselves. Like original, dance, and other randomness. You get customized amigo, you have free play mode, online mode, and a career mode. In this mode, these missions are tough and it happens so early in the game. Like why? It's the beginning of the career mode. Save that for later in the game. It's not like the Dreamcat level of heart mission. But still hard. I can only miss three or five times before I fail a mission. My god. This leads me to the final thing to talk about. The control option. You have two controller options. Shake and button. Both of the time I stayed with button play. Because I prefer to press button in music game. If you choose this option, you still have to do dancing and other randomness by pressing button instead of standing up and doing it. Odd how they didn't replace those moments with normal note for button play. As for the shake option, the motion control is not 100% accurate, which is a problem in a music game where timing and Accuracy it everything. You hold the Joy-Con with L and R facing up like in fitness bot thing. The game does show you how to swing the Joy-Con high, mid, and low, and does a recalibration before the music start. I tried playing the game using the shake option, but I'm trying to figure out what is the problem with the control. I'm having issues with hitting the note a lot of time. Am I doing something wrong here? I cannot deal with the shake option. It is not accurate. People would love to play the game this way. It's a shame that the idea way to play had issued. However, the game is very forgiving. Because I know many times I was not doing the trade arrow right. But forgiveness does not excuse or make up for anything. I feel a little cheated by this. While I did sound mostly negative about Party Central, however, it comes from a good place. I can recommend the game, but Amigo's Return had some shortcomings. Again, having different game styles would have come in handy for people not wanting to deal with the randomness. It's odd how the original home and arcade version of Dava the Amigo did motion control better than the Wii version and Party Central. Different options to hold the Joy-Con would have been nice or something. I know this game is coming to VR, but I have no interest in VR, plus the price of it, holy crap. The original game, along with the 2000 version, is held in high regard, and I can see why. The Wii version had everything, a good music lit and mode, it's too bad the motion control was not the best. Party Central at least allowed the use of a normal button play if you have any issues with the motion control or maybe they were a problem for me and some people. It's too bad the music lit 
it lacking in Latin music? And again, where the heck is Dama de Janeiro? Or Dama de Amigo, a remit version of Belina's song? Where is it? Where is it?